feeling down? We have 10 games that are like your PC giving you a hug. This isn't a list of epic open worlds or daring combat or scary monsters. Nothing will go bump in the dark here. This is a list of games that make you feel better after playing them, even if you shed a few tears along the way. We all have bad days, but games can help. They can help relax us, take our minds off bad thoughts, and generally improve our mood. Whether it's midnight chats with friendly elves, digital letters from a distant friend, or peaceful platforming to soothe your soul, here are 10 games that help you through the hard times and leave a smile on your face. Before we give you this hot cocoa of comforting games, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to make us as happy as we hope these games make you. Here are 10 games to make even the worst days a little better. Great idea! Whether you want to help others or have your own problems halved, Kind Words provides the lo-fi beats to do just that. It's less of a traditional game and more of an adorable digital postal service, complete with a dear delivery person. You can send anonymous letters out into glowing space and answers to problems will return from real life people all over the world. Then you can reply to other people's concerns and fears, helping someone else as they helped you. And you can earn stickers for it, which is a very cute plus. Who doesn't like stickers? You won't be logging on for hours at a time, but the kind words are there when you need them. Other people out there care enough to help, are willing to listen, and going through the same things you are. And you can experience it all with some chilled music. What's not to love? <laughs> in plain, you will sit with a fox companion in an empty field and meditate. Now, meditation doesn't instantly appeal to everyone, but Plane is set up to ease you into it. It never asks anything more than for you to try again the next day. In return, it reduces stress, promotes relaxation, and starts you on a path of mindfulness. You won't be sat in the dark for hours on end, but instead, through consistent meditation, you'll be able to watch the natural world grow around you. Each day that you return for a few minutes, you progress further through the game, opening up a story through your fox companion and watching trees blossom into breathtaking forests. Just close your eyes and breathe. The real world melts away around you and the chimes keep you grounded in plain. It's the ultimate relaxing summer's day camping trip, minus the wasps. Nothing is more calming than listening to the rain fall at night, watching it splash past the window while you sip a hot drink. Well, that vibe is bundled up and served to you in a warm mug of relaxation through coffee talk. You are the barista of a late night cafe in a universe where elves, dwarves, and aliens live amongst humans. Creatures share their problems, you listen and serve up delicious hot drinks. And yes, latte art is just as hard in game as it is in real life. My many attempts ended up with a droopy smiley face, but the customers were still happy with it. You're never burdened with problems, but hearing people out and being able to help through delicious drink-based support makes you feel better too. It encourages communication, it can put things into perspective, but mostly it shows we're not alone, even if we feel like a weird elf misfit at times. Just by looking at Greece, you'll feel calmer. The floaty girl leads you through a watercolor landscape where you unravel a deeper, sadder story. Her pain is illustrated wordlessly through the world around you as colors change and the environment shifts. But despite the difficulties, she can always keep going. Even when knocked down over and over again, together you get back up and keep walking. There's no instructions. It waits for you to take a leap of faith. And when you do, and land safely, 
It's like exhaling a deep breath. With no death, you're never punished for not knowing the way, but rewarded for trying. Although Greece explores sorrow, it's about emotionally growing. She gets stronger with each puzzle solved and level completed. And you do too. You'll learn something about dealing with sadness, even if you can't turn into a cool cube IRL. Maybe if I just really concentrate. <sighs> no. We've talked about Sayonara Wild Hearts before on the channel, but that's no reason not to wave it in your face as a beautiful way to unwind when things feel a little too hard. At its core, it's about heartbreak, which, let's face it, we can all relate to in some form. But that doesn't mean this musical synth extravaganza is remotely mopey. It's time to fly, ride, or soar through a colorful world with the art style of all those tattoos you've been meaning to get. Importantly, even if you fail, Sayonara Wild Hearts makes sure it's no big deal, instantly popping you back to sort your mistake. Sure, if you're going for the highest rating, you'll be heading back for those quick reaction demanding collectibles, but if you just want an exhilarating ride through time and space, you don't want to miss this. Sometimes we're confronted with things we can't fix, no matter how much we try. But there are always some things we can. In Assemble With Care, you become a local restorer where no problem is too small. Whatever the people of Bellariva break, you repair. But each item has a story interwoven with it, and Maria will start to mend things bigger than a faulty camera. Restoring a busted tape deck will allow a little girl to hear her mother sing again. Making a neon sign glow again will give a restaurateur the confidence she is lacking. You never feel lost despite the lack of instructions. Pull out a few screws, have a play around, and you'll start looking at the electrical devices in your house and falsely believe you could fix them. Seriously, leave that keyboard alone. Restoring things is as satisfying as it looks in the soothing colors of Assemble With Care. You fix something small, it might fix something big. It looks as perfect as it ever did. Birds call, a campfire crackles, the sea ebbs and flows, and all your worries drift away in a short hike. As a bird named Claire, you gradually make your way up a mountain trail to find some phone reception, but that soon becomes your secondary focus. Your main goal is just to explore and enjoy your time outdoors. You can chat to fellow animals and lend a hand if they need help collecting shells and new items along the way. If you fall off a bridge, you swim around in the sea and get out on the beach. The world is safe, the creatures friendly, and although Claire has her anxieties, together you feel like it's all going to be okay. There's no one path to follow, but if you ever feel lost and directionless, just look at the compass and you'll know where to go. If you want to create without consequences, then Build is the game for you. Let loose in a sandbox world, you have all sorts of tools at your disposal to create everything from medieval towns to shrines to spooky graveyards. Build from the ground up, is there any other place to start, or place ready-made items to bring your city to life. You can opt for a mode where resources attract and building has to be carefully managed but you're also free to turn it all off and design perfectly placed paths to satisfy every organizational need. The art makes whatever you build look good, which for disorganized creators such as myself is a godsend. And with total freedom, you can let your mind relax. Sometimes we like to grind for our achievements, but it also does us good to relax a little. Build is still in early access for now, but it's already bursting with things to make. So you can create an empire, or not. I just built a creepy crypt. Whether you call it Where's Waldo or indeed Where's Wally, it doesn't really matter. You just really like finding things. And that's exactly what Hidden Folks is all about. 
a lovely chilled monochrome quest to spot a list of items hiding in a busy world. And everything is interactive. You can prod trees, open tents, and generally harass this cartoony world into revealing its secrets. There's no time limit, no stress, just a happy queue of pleasing findables and a somehow so satisfying set of noises exclusively made of mouth sounds. Trust us, it's way more lovely than you'd expect. Especially this one. Oh, and this one. But yes, Hidden Folks is perfect for just letting your brain unwind as you take in every new challenge and gently tick everything off. It's like one of those hidden object games, without the need for a vaguely threatening plot, when all you want to do is find bananas in trees. Ding, ding, bling. Florence is an interactive visual novel. You're not role-playing or making dialogue choices, you're following a comic about a girl named, you guessed it, Florence. And it's kind of nice to step back and just enjoy the story. It's not necessarily a happy one, but it's real. What Florence experiences is something pretty much all of us can relate to in one way or another. And to see someone else go through it and come out the other side gives you hope. It shows that you're not alone. It's perfectly put together too. The way you interact changes with her feelings. When she's sad, you're a helping hand to brush her teeth, to eat, to do her job. When she's happy, conversations fill in themselves, chores are done without any support, and the page fills with color. Whether you're struggling in the before or pushing forwards to the after, exploring the emotions in Florence can help anyone. There are ups and downs, but in the end, you come out of it all okay. So those are 10 games which can help you feel better through whatever you're struggling with. And if you or anyone you know is experiencing mental health issues, don't be afraid to reach out. We've included a list of helpful links in the description below. Let us know in the comments games you turn to to make things better and make sure to give us a like if you saw anything in the video you want to try. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on games we love and if you do already subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload.